the Steam Deck is a clear and pretty obvious success at this point. Now, it might be obvious to some, I would say, but no doubt there's plenty of naysayers still out there. At this point, though, I really do think it's clear that the Steam Deck has become this massive, roaring success. Now, to keep things grounded, it may never hit the sales number of something like the Nintendo Switch, because that is massively established by a huge name and is sold directly in stores. Valve don't have to do that, though, because of how much money they regularly make from all Steam sales anyway. They are the dominant PC store, and they will continue to be for many years to come. Valve are also a private company, so they can continue doing what they want, and the Steam Deck is partly because they want to do it. Anyway, how is the Steam Deck a success? Well, Valve doesn't like to give out sales numbers, but we can reasonably assume at this point there are hundreds of thousands now shipping, especially now with how they've repeatedly ramped up production and increased the number of purchase invite emails actually going out. How do we really know this though? Well, if you take a look at the weekly top charts, for example, thanks to websites like Steam Database, we can see that the Steam Deck has been sat in the top five for about 24 weeks. That's nearly half of an entire year. And out of that, it's been at number one for about 17 weeks across that time. That is ridiculous. Now, again, to keep things grounded, the Steam Deck does cost a huge amount more than most games. But you have to remember again, though, the games that it's coming up against in those top lists are selling by the multiple million. It's coming up against the likes of Elden Ring, Lego Star Wars, Monster Hunter Rise, V Rising, Final Fantasy, Spider-Man, and you get the idea. It doesn't take a genius or a mathematician to understand that Valve are clearly shifting a lot of units. But outside of that, how else do we know? Well, when you see the likes of Spider-Man Remastered getting verified before release, with the official counts of the studios tweeting about it, the devices clearly made it. We're also seeing journalists from some of the biggest web publications around writing about how they've been playing these big new releases on a Steam Deck. They're doing videos about it, articles about it, and the Steam Deck is becoming part of all these review systems. It's all adding up to the hype, and the train just keeps on going. It's being shown off at major events too, with people from Sony tweeting about it, which is seriously awesome. That alone is just quite exciting, don't you think? I love seeing all of this. You even have developers just talking about how ridiculously useful the Steam Deck is too, for many different reasons. Now, if we could just get a Steam Controller 2, I could probably die happy. And at least on my deathbed, I would have a Steam Deck to play. What do you think to the success of the Steam Deck right now? Let me know in the comments. I'm keen to hear what you all think. Catch you all later.